14th of September we announced the new uh, G12 and the SX30, um, both pretty much revolutionary kind of products for us. G12 is a, an upgrade to the most popular G11 that we've had for absolutely ages. Um, same processor, same sensor, same engine to all intents and purposes, but we've modified the algorithms in terms of noise processing. So we're actually getting far better performance out of these than we were out of the G11. Um, the G12, they've, they've also added uh, HD video, which is one of the most common things that people actually requested. So it's a decent upgrade to one of the most popular cameras that we've had. All the accessories that fit and work on the G11 also work on that, as well as the, the underwater housing. The SX30, again announced uh, in the last two weeks. What's great about that is it now sets the benchmark in terms of optical zoom in a compact. Everybody in the last couple of years has been fighting between 20 times, 24 times, 28 times, etc. We just pushed the goalposts to the other end of the field and made this 35 times zoom, which is absolutely enormous. In photographic terms, from a 24 mm wide angle up to sh just shy of 800 millimeters, it's absolutely huge. Yep. Um, image stabilizer has also been modified to make it even more advanced. The autofocus mode has been advanced to make it even more capable for that, that bigger zoom. In terms of the price range, what you're paying for at about four and a half thousand rand, just less than that, maybe four two nine nine, to get a 35 times optical zoom, 14 million pixels, a most advanced image stabilizer we've got, and HD video out of a camera that's smaller than your entry level SLR, becomes very, very, very hard to beat. And probably the, one of the most interesting combination of products on, on the show at the moment, cool. SX30 and G12. Uh, the PowerShot S95, a modification on the S90, very similar to what we did on the G12. We modified the algorithms, but we kept the base sensor and the base processor as the same, using our new HS system, which is high speed, high sensitivity, the overall performance using sensor, processor, and algorithms to get a, a combination of great quality pictures under difficult and low lighting conditions. S95 now also adds uh, HD video as well. It's a great little camera. Um, the other big change was uh, the new PowerShot SX130, an upgrade from the most popular SX120 we have on the market at the moment. Um, we went from a 10 million 10 times optical zoom to a 12 million 12 times optical zoom. Well, this is a camera that sells for less than 2,000 Rand. During World Cup, we sold these like we had no idea we could sell that, that kind of volume. It was great great because you got big zoom for the stadium, worked well under low, low lighting conditions, you also had the image stabilizer. Didn't matter how excited you were you were or how late the match was or how far away the footballer was, a camera that tiny for less than two grand got you the shot. Alright, um, the other big announcement that we're we're showing off at the show is the new 60D, which is a um, an upgrade from the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 range that we've had as the most popular cameras in the mid-range up until now. Quite a revolutionary camera in terms of new features and capabilities. For the first time ever, a flip-out screen on an SLR. Um, due to popular demand, a lot of our competitors have had it, and we've we've had it uh, requested from a lot of people for, for such a long time. It fits quite nicely in the range between the 550D and the 7D, in terms of having the same resolution on the sensor and a step in between as far as sensitivity. When the 7D goes up to 3200 ISO, the 550D goes up to about 1000 ISO, the new 60D fits right in the middle at 1600 ISO. Also you'll find the speed is also a slight bang in the middle, where the 550D is at about 3 frames a second and the 7D is 8 frames a second, the new 60D fits at around 5 frames a second, so it's a nice middle range model. It's great for a beginner who's starting to get serious, and it's also great for a pro who's looking for a backup. And pricing on the show looks very, very interesting, and the popularity is already going through the roof. What, what is normal price? Body only is normally about sort of 12 and a half. The show special is about 11 and a half uh, on the 60D. The very, very limited stock. But the, the killer on the show is the 7D, and those are flying. Uh, the normal price is 18. We've got it on the show special at 13. Uh, we had 20 this morning. We're down to about seven. Okay. <laughs> and this is the first day of the show. And that's all you have? No, no, there's tons more. Okay. There's tons more.